Navigate is a great piece of equipment because um, for not only being able to use it outdoors and in the woods and on the beach and the water, um, it's a good tool for rehab because it is something to show people that there are things after a spinal cord injury that they can still get into and also working on cardiovascular and upper body strengthening um, as some sort of a fun way in therapy um, and not your standard, you know, everyday workout equipment. When I first was introduced to the Renegade, I was a patient here on the ninth floor at Spalding. I was sitting in bed and uh, I actually saw it on a TV show, so I rushed right down to the uh, the gym and looked it up, looked up everything on the internet, everything on YouTube and, and found it that way and then met John downstairs when I came back for outpatient, met him in the lobby and got invited to come up to Maine and meet with him, talk with him and uh, was really impressed and introduced that way to it. After rehab, people will typically get a few months of therapy and it would be maybe two or three times if they're lucky a week. So it's very limited. And then after that, it's up to them to maintain whatever they can. Um, so like with Fred, he he's so active now that um, the Renegade gave him that opportunity to still to still stay with it, to still keep keep going even after rehab, which Rehab isn't, isn't what you do to, to stay in shape, it's what you do to learn how to live. I thought it was just going to be home. I mean, I knew I wasn't going to stop doing stuff, but I didn't know what was out there for me to, to get back out and, and do different things. So once I saw this, I said, you know, this is going to help a lot. And it was just one of those things that kept rolling, you know, watching the videos. I, he can do that, I can do that and elaborate and keep going and keep going. So it was a really big deal for self-motivation. It's pretty neat to be able to see how far he's come from when he was in rehab to now. Um, and I think it's opened up a whole new world to him because you know, you, you get in an accident, you go through rehab, you go home and it's like, now what? And he hooked up with John right away. We showed him the chair in here and Fred was a big hunter before his accident. So he was able to um, get right back out and, and get back into the things that he enjoyed doing prior to his accident. And not only going out and being healthy and active, but also emotionally, his well-being, um, he was able to adjust to this new lifestyle a lot quicker than I think someone who doesn't get right out and, and get into these things right away. People get in the right again. I think they, they find it's a lot easier than they thought it would be. And it, you know, now all of a sudden they can see themselves getting up this hill or going across the beach. Whereas, um, you know, people in a manual wheelchair, it's, you know, I always say snow and sand and grass is not a friend of the wheelchair. And it's very difficult to lift up these front wheel casters and to get around. That's why the Renegade can make it so much easier to get up and down places and through places. And uh, that's what it's all about is banging through the brush, you know, and uh, getting things done. Having the Renegade as a different means of mobility and having a different way to push a chair is great. I mean, repetitive strain injury is prevalent everywhere in spinal cord injury. So having a push rim as your everyday chair and then having a lever system is absolutely beneficial for, for shoulder health because you are training it in different, different positions. You're not just training your arms down in that one position pushing because you're using different muscle groups, um, especially if somebody's in a, a manual standard chair every day, they're using the same muscles in their shoulders and a big thing with spinal cord injury is, is shoulder overuse. So um, with this form of pushing the chair, you're using different muscle groups and working different muscles that you normally wouldn't be in an everyday chair. There's nothing worse than pushing a chair around when it's snowing out, you know, and you got metal, you have to wear gloves, but uh, you know, after being in a chair for 12 years like I have, I've been finding I've been beating up certain parts of my body and I think the Renegade could really help me getting around in the future um, just because of all the pushing and the wearing and the chairing I've been doing over these years with my shoulders. I've noticed my rotor cuffs are starting to give me a little bit of a problem but um, hopefully I can work it out. When you used to go hiking, you know, you're getting that cardiovascular. When you used to lift weights or, or stuff like that to work your muscles, that also does the same thing. So when you take the chair out, you're getting that full 
workout. Not that it's a workout chair, but when you when you do use it to go do whatever you need to do, it gives you that extra feeling of getting back in shape and makes you feel good when you when you get out of it because you do work a lot. From what I've experienced with patients is getting them in this and taking them outside and bringing them back in, they're beat. So it's, it's a great workout and if it's something that they enjoy, we can do it on a regular basis and, you know, turn up the resistance however much we want each time and kind of have that set as a goal for them to, you know, continue working on the strength and endurance piece of it and, and getting used to, to the workout part of it. The Renegade has been a great tool for people being able to do some sort of activity. After a spinal cord injury, it's, it becomes a lot more challenging to keep yourself physically fit and it's, in a way, a little bit more important because um, cardiovascular disease becomes a little bit more prevalent and the Renegade has been a great tool for several of our patients to be able to go out and exercise and not only exercise for physical fitness, but for mental fitness as well. Being able to get into this piece of equipment, you're, you're working on, you know, all these different types of upper body muscles and arm strengthening that you typically, you're working them in an everyday manual chair, but at least with the Renegade, you actually have some resistance and you can kind of make it a workout by turning the gears and making them higher or lower. So you can kind of make it what you want. So once you learn the chair, and learn what it can do, the balance points of the chair and stuff like that. It's very easy to know that when I come up to a stump or a rock, I know how to proceed and, and go ahead and do with it. And especially on, on grass, wet grass area or uneven terrain, um, a lot of it, you know, you have to pop up into a wheelie to get yourself so your front casters don't get stuck in whatever you're going through. So with the Renegade, it's a nice simple motion that they can a lot easier get on the grass, get on the train, and, and do their thing independently. You definitely get a little bit more bang for your buck for with the push with the lever system. So to be getting up over um, harder obstacles, it's that type of system does allow you to kind of just get the extra oomph that you need to attain that. Whereas with the with the push rim system you probably end up popping a wheelie or having to counter the balance of the of the chair um, with with a lot more effort than with the lever system. People that just kind of live in a rural environment and you know their back just accessing their backyard is now impossible without the right piece of equipment um, and this allows that and we do get a lot of people that, you know, a lot of people enjoy the outdoors and like getting out and doing stuff, even if it's just going on a trail in the woods. And this chair kind of has the, it gives you the ability for a wide range of different things. You don't want to stop just because you're in a wheelchair. There's got to be a way out there to get back, get better at doing things, maybe a different way. And that's what everybody has to realize that life's not over just because you're in a chip. They can plow their driveway, they can go hunting, they can go fishing, they can go through water and mud and on sand. Um, and that this piece of equipment just opens a lot of doors for them and just getting back out into and living life. You know, the, the small thing we have gets most of the people in the New England area and people from all over the world and uh, they come here and um, you know, I know many people who have tried the Renegade and fallen in love with it. I've had one patient in particular who I showed the Renegade to and I mean he's a big hunter, a big outdoors person, loves fishing, loves hunting, loves being out in the woods and after his injury he, he was devastated that he and he just assumed he wouldn't be able to do that anymore um, and then I showed him videos of the Renegade and showed him our Renegade, had him try that, and Fred came in to talk to him and tell him what he had been doing. And he just, I mean, you could just see the change in his, in his whole attitude. He just lit up with joy that, oh, oh my God, I can, I can go out there and enjoy all these things again. 